Howdy y'all, DJTJ here with Inkscape tutorial number 7, Document Properties. Alright, so to open your Document Properties you'll come to File and go down to Document Properties. You could also press Shift Control D and it will launch that window. N in the document properties there are several tabs up here and this one manipulate all the data so the first one is the page tab it sets generally what you're looking at here on your page or what is sometimes referred to as your artboard so the display units is the first thing you want to adjust you can adjust it to inches or pixels and that will change the rulers and the way you see everything here in the page size is a bunch of preset defaults for different sizes that are out there the majority of the time you're going to use US letter so go ahead and click that that'll set it to 8.5 by 11 which is a standard US letter size so if you plan on printing something out like in a standard paper size this is what you'd want to use you can also click on the landscape to change it to 11 by 8.5 now the custom size is a good setup if you're doing some other kind of graphic design work or you're not going to use one of these standard layouts the most important thing you need to understand about custom size is you must change the units first so don't enter the height and width then go change the units because it will change everything so if I wanted to change this to 10 by 10 and then I was trying to change it to 10 by 10 pixels it's going to change it to actually 960 pixels so if you're trying to adjust something to pixels or inches you want to change this first you can also resize page to content so let's just draw a shape hold the control key and draw a star the item is selected you can click this button and it will resize your page to that selection if you do another one it will resize to that if none are selected or nothing is selected it will resize to all content the background is the next part we'll just skip over scaling because a lot of times you probably won't use that background can be accessed here if you double click this or sorry single click it'll bring up this menu you can adjust the colors here this is the opacity slider if you ever see A it's the alpha channel and it's actually going to adjust if you can see through things or not it has all the color selection that you would normally find in Inkscape. You can add a checkerboard background. If whatever you're working on wasn't a solid color and you wanted to see the difference. Border is the border around your page. It can be adjusted here. Border on top of drawing can be an important checkbox. So if we move this here, but we want to know where our page border is, we click that and now the page border there. So if you're having trouble seeing it, you might want to change the color of your page border. And now you can see it on top exactly where it'll end. And anti-aliasing is just basically smooths out lines or corners or edges. So you go to guides you can change the color of your guides so if I was to pull a guide out and I wanted a specific color I was working on a different background you can change it here grids you can have your normal rectangular grid but what's more interesting is the axonometric grid if you click that and then click new this is the type of grid it makes and all the grid 
um, properties are here and can be adjusted so you can set the origins you can make things smaller bigger however you want to manipulate that so if you're looking to make a specific grid for some document or something you're working on here's the way you would do that snapping when you have objects that snap it wants to snap to the grid now even if your grid is sort of not even visible it'll still want to snap you can adjust all those properties and how strong the snap is, the distance and stuff here. A lot of times you should probably just leave it default, but if you were having difficulties and you didn't want to turn it all the way off, you could come adjust that in this tab. Colors is for uploading specific color profiles to your work. If you had a specific palette or a type of print color that you were interested in doing, this is where you would do that. Scripting is to add in extra scripting that you might do for different functionalities. Um, a lot of times you probably wouldn't add, um, when you're just learning Inkscape, worry about this tab at all. Metadata is very important if you're trying to copyright your work and you want to make sure that your property is kept and um, sort of tagged with your information. We'll go over metadata in a later tutorial. And licensing. So if you were going to publish something for the web or someone to use you can put your licensing here you can have a free art or you can um, do your attrib attributions and there you have it that is the document properties please join us for the next tutorial Inkscape tutorial number eight the Bezier curve tool thanks for watching